Hey everybody, Bobby Claw here. So the other day, I was like, actually lately in general, and always actually, I crave pizza. I know, I'm a bad boy, but I do love a good pizza. So I always try to find good options to make homemade pizza, like maybe toast or something else to try different recipes to make little homemade pizzas either in the oven or in the air fryer. I'm walking through the store and I see pretzel bread loaf. This would make an awesome pizza. So I had to have it. Long story short, I brought it home and we're gonna make pizza with it today. And you guys are gonna get the first exclusive look at a gourmet pretzel bread pizza. pizza. <laughs> so step on in and let's get started. We're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna get inspired, make something delicious. And get your belly. Winter is coming and we have to get our um, our winter suits ready. So what else do you want? It's pizza, pizza. cooking with cooking the claw. Starts now. Starts now. Fresh basil here. By the look our head. Okay, gang, so here's what we're working with. Of course, we have a pretzel baguette. It's a full size. Sometimes these come in a little bit smaller loaves of pretzel bread, uh, but you can do it any size pretzel bread you want. We're gonna have tomatoes, really nice. Uh, we're gonna do three on each side. One organic onion, red chili flakes, oregano, minced garlic, and fennel seed. A cup of any kind of marinara you want. This is actually organic marinara. An olive oil spray. Two of the Laughing Cow Light Wedges cheese. These are usually found in the salad section um, or cheese section of a store. Two slices of provolone. A ball of fresh mozzarella. Five slices of Italian dry salami. And some fresh basil. Let's get started. Okay, so first off we have our pretzel baguette. Just cut this in half, like so. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Love, love, love pretzel bread. Oh my gosh, so good. Look at this. Yes. We have our Laughing Cow Light cheese. If you've never tried this before, it's really good. Really light, really creamy. And it makes a good spread. What I thought we'd do is start off by just kind of moistening the bread, taking a little bit at a time. My birds are upstairs because they're, they're yelling because they're like, you know what? We want pizza. <laughs> One slice of the Laughing Cow Light spread on there perfectly. Repeat with the second half. So going on, fennel seed. You just want to spread it lightly on top, so just get it on there. Just kind of sprinkle it on. We have our oregano. Do a pinch, pinch sprinkle. Probably, you know, just about a teaspoon, two teaspoons at the most. I'm getting crazy with the oregano. The next spice, or seasoning I should say, is this red chili flakes. I'm gonna go light on this, all depending on how much spice you like. Making pizza is not rocket science. I just wanted to show you a little recipe that I thought might be nice. Just a fun thing to have for like a late lunch, sitting on the patio, whatever. This is gonna be made in the oven. Nice garlic coating. I'm gonna start the oven up. Okay, so for this recipe, I'm gonna use the Emerald Lagasse Power 360 air fryer, and it also has an oven function. And we're gonna set the temperature to 425 degrees. Okay, so in the meantime, while our oven's warming up, some of our toppings for the pizza. What I'm gonna do with these tomatoes, I don't want them thick at all. At the thinnest, you can slice it without slicing your hand off, of course. Nice, thin slices of tomato. These are tomatoes. For our organic onion, same thing, we're gonna want thin slices. I'm gonna cut it straight in half. This is probably all the onion we're gonna need. Thin, thin, thin. Thin for the win. Okay, let's slice our mozzarella. First, I'm gonna cut it in half. We got a ball of mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. I'm gonna cut it straight in half. We can have one for each side. Try and do as thin as possible slices. On our provolone, once again, I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay, so this is our each side. And we're gonna cut it one more time on each side. We're gonna leave these in strips. Each side gets five slices of dry salami. Now this is, this is the preliminary bake. We're gonna get the, the pretzel bread cooked a little bit first before we actually put our toppings on. So this is just to kind of get the bread a little toasty first. We're gonna put this in, right, that's in the oven. 425 for five minutes. These are looking nice and toasty. It's time for marinara. Spread it right on, right over the onion, just like that. And for a treat. So there's one. All right, 
perfect, looking good. Next up, we're gonna do our basil. We're gonna just layer our basil on there like so. That's a looking a good for our tomatoes. And spread those out evenly. Kind of press them down in. You guys are gonna be like, Domino's, who's that? Or maybe DiGiorno. Honey, it's not DiGiorno. It's the Claw's special recipe we made tonight. We're gonna put it back in the oven for just a moment. Kind of get that kind of cooking a little bit broken down. And then we're gonna add our cheese for the final step. Three, two, one. Three minutes here. Start off, we're gonna kind of layer everything. Try and get fancy with this. Take a mozzarella, provolone like that, and salami. We're just gonna do that across the board. Mozzarella, mozzarella, provolone, and salami. Mozzarella, oops, provolone, this would be a fun one to make with your kids or your family, date night, whatever. Look at that. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, that one's done. Let's do this guy. Mozzarella, provolone. This looks so good. I'm excited. Okay, so let's just cut these into little pieces. Perfect. This will feed the whole family for sure. And that is your gourmet pretzel bread I get. Pizza. Well, you guys know what I have to do now, right? Gourmet pizza here. That is awesome. I gotta wipe my face hang on. I love the nice crunchy pretzel bread. It's perfect. Get yourself a pretzel baguette tonight and take one home. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love this. It's a hit. Confirmed. You know what? I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have a great week and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like on your way out, a thumbs up. And you know what? When food, I should say when pizza is this good, you should really be against the law. You've been cooking pizza, pretzel bread with the claw. Have a great day. See you guys soon.